Uh, today we're installing an 18 by 24 solid bronze marker out on the new apron at Dallas Love Field, marking the spot where Air Force One was parked on November 22, 1963, and where President Lyndon B. Johnson was sworn in as the 36th President of the United States. A light that will be installed uh, next to the bronze will enable uh, visitors and people in the airport terminal building at Love Landing to see the actual spot since this will be in a controlled access area at the airport. And then a duplicate marker, another bronze marker, will also be placed up there in the Love Landing area of the airport. Um, with the architect uh, was able to actually use um, the uh, length and width of Air Force One here and with various landmarks of buildings which are still here at the airport we were able to uh, create the scale and knowing the exact position of where the uh, person was standing down below the control tower to be able to get the vantage point that they were here looking out we were able to position the aircraft we had a change in power and we had a new president being inaugurated at uh, 247 they left back to Andrews Air Force Base with the new president of the United States on board. And I felt like it was very important for Dallas as well as the world to, to actually know the history that occurred here on November 22nd. I mean, this was the first time ever that we had a U.S. president, a Texas U.S. president, sworn in on Texas soil here at Love Field. And it was also the first time west of the Mississippi that we had a president sworn in. But most importantly, in relationship to the history of the airport, this is the only time an American president has been sworn in aboard an aircraft. And this happened um, right out there at gate 28A on November 22nd.